welcome back guys so today we will continue boolean algebra and logic gates so we will be seeing more gates so today we will be seeing or xor gate and xnor gate so exclusive or gate or xor gate or x or gate so these are the how you write it so this operation of xor gate is something quite different from the normal or gate or nor gate when the inputs of xor gates are at different logic levels like, like, like suppose a and B. I'll write the truth table for it. So when the inputs are of different like 0 and 1, 1 and 0, then the output will be high. And on the other hand, for these cases, the output will be low. So the output is this is how you this is a symbol for XOR operation, XOR operation. So so this will be 0 1 1 0 so this or you can also say that the, when there are odd number of ones then the output is like 1 so the symbol of XOR gate is like this suppose you have two inputs so this is the symbol of XOR gate so I will just show you the equivalent circuit of XOR gate how it is made. So first uh, there are two circuits for this. I will draw both of them. So this suppose we have input first we will pass this by an OR gate and on the other hand we will pass this by a NAND gate and now we will pass both of them by AND gate. So we'll get the output is or B. I'll show you this how it works. Suppose for this input 0, 1, 0 and 1, this here it will be 1, 0, 1, it will be 1 again, and 1, 1 is 1. So it gets right for 0, 0. Suppose here 0, 0, here it is 0, 0, 0, 1, so 1, and 0, 1 of and is 0. So this is the operation, and other circuit is. The, for, from basic gates it is like this so a b first will pass b by not gate So this is also the same. You can try this out by putting the values. So the circuit is not that important, but the operation understanding of operation is important. So I hope you understood the XOR gate. Now the next gate is exclusive NOR gate or XNOR gate. Or XNOR or XNOR, something like this. You can write any of this. So the last gate, this is for the last gate of analysis and it is known as XNOR gate so it is equivalent to like inversion of XOR gate so this symbol will be like this suppose this is our XOR gate and this no, this will be our XNOR operation you can write like this also or the symbol is this is also the symbol this dot and within a circle is the symbol so this is the symbol for x naught or you can do like this you take the XOR gate you pass it with not operation and you get the output so this is a, so this works like this suppose when the uh, like inputs are of same level that is either 0 0 or either 1 1 then the output will be high So this is a symbol for the case it will be or the even case even numbers of one it will give the output one or high. So this was all about gates. So thanks for watching it.